morning, friends. So uh, today there is a gift that's coming in the mail for Miss Patches, my cat. And I've been really excited about it for a very, very long time. That's being a bit hyperbolic, but I've been excited about it since the nugget happened in my brain space. I was chatting with a friend of mine who also does YouTube, Planting with Rose. Rose. We were talking about cat jungle gyms or like cat walls spaces and she was showing me hers which was amazing but also pointed me in the direction of some cat specialists that you know talk about creating a space for your cat in your home so they can have all those instincts and uh climb things like cats enjoy doing so in Arizona, there's a bunch of ledges in the roof, in the roof. So like my ceilings are vaulted, but then there's a bunch of like ledges all in in all the rooms, like architectural ledges, and I never know what the hell to put on them because de decorating is not my strong suit. Um, but there is a particular ledge in the front sitting room that whenever I have patches on me she always like climbs up my shoulders and then she wants to get up there like she's always looking up high she likes to get up high so I decided to order a few things so I can build her like a climbing wall so she can get up to that ledge herself and then also a really cool cat bed that goes into the wall so those are supposed to be coming today and that's what this video is gonna be about as me putting that together because <sighs> I spoil my cat and my dog, but Patches is getting spoiled today. I'm looking at myself in the monitor. I have gotten these like dry red patches on my cheeks and my nose. It just developed like the past two months, which is frustrating because I do have a skincare regimen. Um, when I shower and moisturize or wash my face and moisturize, they go away. I'm constantly feeling it right now. but. A day after that, or a night after I wash my face and wake up in the next morning, this is like sandpaper texture. These blotches, like they they feel dry and rough. And my friend Becca told me that it's um, eczema. That that's a common thing that the people in the desert have to deal with. And I've never had eczema. I don't know for sure if it is eczema. Um, but... I don't know what the hell to do. <laughs> so, anybody have any tips for a 35 year old man that just developed eczema? Drop them in the comments. Okay, so there is a ledge that I'm talking about. You can see that it's up high. This is my front sitting room, which is an absolute disaster right now because all of this stuff was in the spare bedroom. And I recently, bought a storage bed for all of this stuff so that's what I'll be doing today is putting all of my equipment for filming packing supplies underneath that bed so this can be a sitting room again this is the bed that I got you can see I still have a bunch of my equipment Ooh, so messy but I wanted to show you guys how this bed lifts up so you can see uh, all the storage that's underneath it okay so there we have it I got this bed from Ikea it's the Malm this is a queen size it's the Malm storage bed and you can see underneath here I have some of my tripods here already, some bags, but this whole space can be storage. So that's where all my filming equipment and packing supplies for plants, etc., will be going. Now this is what I mean when I say that this cat loves to climb. Every time I lift this storage bed, this is where you'll find her. You. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a dork. Okay, so since I told you about my red patches, which you can see when I get out of the shower, 
or a bit pronounced. I thought I would tell you what skincare I use, just in case that may be causing a problem. I wash my face with CeraVe, and then I use a toner, and this is the one that I've been using. It's the Rose Toner from Fresh. Okay, so I put the toner on a cotton pad, and then I just go around my whole face, and I always feel like it gets a lot more red after I use that, so maybe, <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be using that. Look how bad that looks. Mm -mm. Okay, so in the mornings, the next thing that I usually do is do a vitamin C serum after I do the toner and I use this one by Pharmacy. And I just do like one squirt on my hands and then pat it in. It's a skincare channel now. Okay, so the last thing, if I'm not going outside, especially if it's not the summer, I don't put sunscreen on. I'm not going outside today, so I'm not putting sunscreen on. So usually now is when I would put sunscreen on and then a moisturizer. So I'm using this one by First Aid. I try not to use a lot because it'll make me oily. This is always my last step because somewhere I heard that you should go in order of consistency. So, your most thinnest liquid first. So that would be the toner and the serums. Working your way up to the thickest consistency, which would obviously be lotion and sunscreen. So that's why I do it as my last step. So yeah, that that's my routine. I don't know where these developed. It honestly looks like an allergic reaction now. And this is what it looks like every time I get out of the shower. Now on the camera, <laughs> on the camera it shows a bit more strongly than it does by me looking in the mirror, but it looks angry. I don't know, if you have some advice, things to try, send them my way. The one good thing that this shelf up here provides is an aerial view of me cleaning up this mess. for your sunspot? Huh? Okay, so while I was cleaning up the room, the UPS delivery came with <laughs> my very excited stuff for patches. <laughs> you got me. Okay, work is over, which means it's time to set up the cat jungle gym. I keep calling it a jungle gym, the cat. I'm gonna catify my wall. So this is a bed that's made from a company called My Zoo. I found them online when I was just trying to research uh, options for like wall shelves for cats. I started doing this thing, I use a, a double cash back credit card by Citibank. And you get cash back for your purchases and your payments. So I use this credit card for all my monthly expenses every single month. And for the last three months I have kept those cash back savings in a separate account because I was gonna use it for fun money. So vacation money or presents, whatever. And since there's no vacation this year, I used it on my patches. 
So after three months or so, there's about $300 in there for cash back rewards. And I'm not doing anything other than my usual spending. And this is not a plug because I'm not sponsored by any of this stuff, but I just wanted to share a hot tip. But we got the MyZoo Gamma Space Bed in Walnut. So how this works is it's not gonna go right here, but I'm gonna show you. It drills into your wall. And then you have a cat bed that looks like this. And the other thing I got from my zoo was these wooden, I think these are actually oak, and they're platform shelves. So these are gonna go on the wall to give patches places to jump up. So she can jump onto these and then jump up to that shelf that I showed you earlier and then into the cat bed. That's what I'm gonna do right now. We're losing daylight. I might have to break out the video lights. My plan is to find studs in the wall and secure these on studs for the most part. And then obviously this, the spots that I can't drill into a stud will be an anchor in the wall. So I have my stud finder here and the way this works, you just kind of put it on your wall and drag. And as soon as it finds a stud, it will light up to the green. Stud. It's a reject then. You can't you can't fight science. I'm a stud. As you, as you can see, I paid you. The install is completely finished. Uh, she's still getting her wits about her. She's been up into the bed, um, and she's still just trying to get used to the shelves. Oh, oh, are we gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? Look at you up there. How's it feel? Huh? Do you like that spot? Each one of those shelves and the Gamma space bed all came with their own screws, anchors, and a screwdriver. But I used my own anchors and my own screws uh, but this is just to let you know, this is what comes in the package, which each shelf and with the bed up there. I think I'm actually, these wood shelves are kind of slick. So I, I might try to get some thin carpet square to put on top of those shelves, just so there's something that she can have traction with her claws. Because right now her claws don't go into that wood, obviously. It's, it's real wood. So I'm gonna have to figure that out, but ta-da! I think it looks really cool. Uh, a lot of people told me it looks like a McDonald's play place, which I agree, but without the feet smell, so best of both worlds. Oh, and if you buy this uh, spaceship cat bed thing, 
we ended up, it's just really difficult to hold up there and try to get the screwdriver and the drill in. So we traced out a template on a piece of paper, uh, which I wish I would have thought of earlier. We struggled with figuring out how we were gonna do it until we made the template. And then that was a lot easier to make sure that it was going into studs and that the holes were marked correctly for the bed to drill into the wall. I hope you enjoyed this video. Usually this channel is house plants, but it's Vlogmas. I love my cat, I love my animals, and I'm just trying to do videos of like daily life. So today was gifts for my cat. <laughs> and as always, I appreciate you hanging out with me. Thank you for watching.